Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Uh, welcome back to another OMSI 2 uh, video of the uh, Veiling pack from Master Gen. Sorry, just two seconds. Uh, OMSI actually crashed. It's just reloading back in. I tried to load in with the bus this evening. Uh, so yeah, it's just loading back in. So give it a couple of seconds. But yeah, so look, uh, welcome back guys uh, to night two of uh, looking at some more Veiling options. Uh, what's coming in the pack, checking out the buses. So tonight I plan to start off with the articulated 18 meter. Uh, which we didn't quite get to do last night uh, and then we're going to be looking at uh, which variant I'm looking at next it's the B7 Voif uh, Euro 4 double door I believe is what we're going to be looking at uh, afterwards and then we'll see where we go from there uh, so yeah we're just waiting for Omdi to load back in because it crashed unfortunately but hello hello to everybody that is here uh, and waiting uh, who have we got so far? Might as well say hello to everyone. Imran, Harrison, Johnny, Callum, uh, East Coast Gaming, Toz, hello, Commander Fox, Ibus, Cameron, uh, Alex, who else is here? Bance Traps, hello, Luke, uh, Steve OJ, apparently Nightbot has already deleted your thing. Hi, everyone. Be careful of caps. I forgot to change it after last night. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, try not to spam stuff too much because Nightbot will not like it. Hello, Steg, Pure Back Rail Spotter, Ryan Kennedy, Harrison Lang. Chicken Bus Enthusiast, Callie Edwards, B-Dot. Hello, hello, hello. Hello to everyone. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll load back in. Now, I did promise Games with 3. I just found out I don't have permissions and there's no runs currently for me to gain permissions. But I'm going to do one of the line packs from Steve, uh, from Michael Hadley on the Games with version 2. Um, so we've got a quite good run to go on that. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, Clay Cross, hello. Chubs, good evening. Hello, hello. Yeah, day's been all right. Not been too bad. Okay, finally, Omzi is loading back in. Should load us back in where we were. So we're going to be doing... Uh, I, I forgot what route it was. We'll find out in a second. We'll find out. So yeah, we're back on BCS. Uh, since last night, we gained quite a few new drivers today actually as well, which is really good. Uh, the company's nearly at 100 drivers, which is absolutely insane for OMSI. 100 drivers. Uh, but hello, hello. Hello to everyone that's coming in. Harvey, hello. Harrison Lang again. Probably already said you. Wonder when the Eclipse 1 comes up. No idea. <laughs> uh, Games with version 3 is out yet. Yeah. Uh, Dylan, good evening. Hello. Mike Way on Facebook. Hello. Hello to everybody. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing phase 2. Still Gainsborough. Yes, it's not the 100 that everybody wanted and obviously to see the new route, but it's the same, right? It's all the same. <laughs> it's It's still the same map. Uh, how do you get the bit where it says heat bus 21 degrees? It is a part of the company. Uh, so if you are in the company, uh, in the company chat, there is a spreadsheet with all our links, mods, everything. You get it from there. Uh, yeah, it's probably because, it, yeah, because the timetables end early. So basically how BCS works is you need permissions on a map before it unlocks the map. And normally it'll only give you one, possibly two runs that you could probably have. Uh, so you don't get a lot to choose from, and if it's not running at this time of the day, I can't do it. So that's just uh, awesome. There we go. Please work. You were absolutely fine before. You s swine. Okay, so considering that we just loaded back in, now it doesn't want to work. Okay, fine. We might have to do a different tour. <laughs> um, don't know why OMSI does this. It can never just be good. Uh, if I may, if if it, it's a menu made for people part of the company, yeah. I think Toz, you're in the company, aren't you? Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Uh, so yeah, it hasn't loaded my expansion, so that is not good. Let's cancel the tour. What a start to the stream. Pain in the ass. What's your favorite innovating pack so far? I haven't driven them all yet. I think this double door is going to be my favorite because last night on Yorkshire, it was very slow getting people on and off. I think the double door for sure will be my favorite, uh, which we'll be driving tonight. There's the way out. Okay, we'll go back and pick a new tour then. We might not be doing games, but to start with, uh, 76 8. We'll do whatever whatever's down there. Yeah, there's quite a few of you online tonight as well. Uh, Alexia Mercury is a new driver from today. Ralphus is in. Michael Hadley's there getting flash speeding, not for the first time today. Uh, Tony Trains is here. There's quite a few in the company this evening, which is nice. Nice and busy.
So yeah, I do apologize for the start. Uh, this is what happens when you try and have a route ready to go. Omzi just crashes. I don't know why it does it. Absolute pain. Okay, do we have anything up here that we could do first? We're nearly at the full reward for the company. Uh, got no tools available again. That is so weird. I think it just flashed as I exited. I need some new pedals as my pedals broke last night. Yeah, my brake pedal's still not working here. I use my clutch for the brake. Uh, yeah, I saw you had a few speeding tickets as well. Couple of people are liking it. Stephen James, hello, hello. Facebook people, hello. Um, okay, I don't know why that's not giving me anything. Uh, see, this is what it's doing. It's not picked up the right time. Okay, so look, we'll just have a look at games for phase two. Uh, we do have an expansion here, actually. 45 minutes, or we have the 35 minutes. Saxby High Street. You know what, let's do this one. It should work this time, because we're loading in fresh from here. But as you can see, games of phase three, only tours are shown because you haven't got permissions. And even if you show all tours, uh, obviously early in the morning, you have to complete a tour to unlock it. I haven't done that. So let's do this one. 35 minutes in, in the bendy. See how we go. Ah, games UK has done the last two. Yeah, so if any other driver have got Gainsborough routes currently, they take them away from me. So how it works is you can't do the same shift together. So if someone takes a shift on a map at the time right now, they've taken it. Uh, Toz is saying hello to everyone on the stream. There you go. So yeah, so there you go. Games UK has taken the last two routes and games for free. That's why we can't uh, get permissions. So blame Games UK. Uh, what what are we driving tonight? So we're going to start with the 18 meter, and then we're going to do the B7 Voith uh, Euro 4 double door. And if we can squeeze one more in, we will. We'll we'll see how it goes. As uh, we've seen, it's been a bad start so far. So we'll see how we go. So yeah, the <laughs> games did the last two. What a guy. <laughs> How long have you lived in Ireland? Too long. Um, I've only had a brake and accelerator, so my brake snapped off. Oh, damn. God, I imagine if it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it will work now. It was working fine, but the problem was I came in and came out. Uh, so yeah. Gotta make sure I get the right Hoff. Just give me a second. Should be on the desktop. We gotta love having the right and wrong half say. Uh, do we have any ticket inspectors available? None are available, so all the drivers currently have a ticket inspector out. Nice. Might have to get one more. Uh, so yeah, I've started populating the bus company with the buses for all the drivers, so when uh, this releases, you guys will have access to the buses straight away, and uh, I'll have the repaint packs put up that morning as well. Uh, at the moment, I painted them all apart from the B8, but it'll probably there's only one version that won't work with the B8 ray repaint now, and there's a longer 13.1 meter B8. Uh, so I'll have to repaint that. I think that's the only one left to repaint now. I've done them all. Fingers crossed. So last night we drove the Falcon, uh, the B7 E5 Eco Life. Uh, the list of settlers. Oh, there's, there's tons, tons. We'll get some driving out of the way first, and, and then we'll go from there. All right, because uh, we've already wasted 10 minutes doing nothing, as usual. Nothing will ever change in my streams. Uh, Mackenzie, hey, don't you like when you delete four halves in the SP pack so I can't pick repaints if... They don't work, but spawn in, but no express thing popping up. Why have you deleted them all? <laughs> uh, Northern Adventures, hello. Uh, yeah, Bendy. We're going to go for the Bendy first. We were going to drive it last night. It was the last bus, but we had issues with the map. I think it's because of the way we loaded in. But that should be fine today if we want to do that map. Now, I believe there is a line pack coming for games with version 3 from Michael. He's going to update the pack he did for 2. Uh, but there's no release date as yet. So there will be some... Uh, and what he's going to do is extend the timetable for us as well. The ones that are already there, which means we can drive this on streams. Okay, so all good news. Uh, the new German map I drove earlier was superb. 
Yeah, I've, I've heard a few good things about it. I haven't had a chance uh, to, to do anything, really. Tonight, I usually do 5M. <laughs> All the 5M guys are gutted. Is there one door single Falcon? Yes. That's what we drove last night, Mike. The first bus we drove. I think it was a single door last night. Or did we drive the double door? Uh, there is two variants, though. You, you, you're fine. I did them all as the Express, one had a normal one, and tried on single one, no. Yeah, we had issues with Hoffs last night. There you go, Will Green's just been caught speeding. Naughty, naughty. Bus driver 601's entered the company. Toz just finished the talk. Yeah, so the company's nice and busy, nearly 100 drivers on a BCS. I never would have thought we'd get that far when I started this a little while back. I wouldn't say it was everybody's cup of tea. Games UK has just joined us here as well, but I'm going to get rid of that chat because we've got enough boxes. Okay, we're going to move you up to the top then. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. No issues. Thank God for that. Okay, so we're doing the 201. Uh, High Street to Queen Elizabeth School. That sounds about right, doesn't it? About 35 minutes. Perfect. 7 o'clock. We've got a bit of time, uh, but we'll just fast forward our time. Uh, what number is that? But then we'll have a nice little look around the bus before we get going as well. QE School, 201. Perfect. Hopefully that's all going to work well. So let's just uh, get some electrics on here first. We've got the ticketer in tonight for the first run. Okay, let's turn the outside lights on. Get the lights on inside. Okay, here we go. Here's the bendy. We did have a little look at it at the end of the evening. Oh, God, I hate when the floor flashes like that. It's just a patch there. So the sun's in our eyes, unfortunately. Uh, it's setting, but here we go. good okay you're still loading in Hoff oh, should it be done did it should display the screen no as long as people get on I don't care uh, it must be two years soon yeah two years since I started the private company and now we're going into of course uh, we went into the public company and uh, it was a good move from us actually going public okay let's log in then okay uh, 9173 Three nine two two. Apparently, we are driver William Tickle Duck. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so we're going to be on the outbound on the journey. You can see your duty summaries, ad hoc trip. I'm not doing any of that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Big thank you as well to Blue Orange and uh, the rest of the team at Masterbus. Uh, uh, sorry, Master Switch for sending us an early access copy. So this is the two-door variant. There is a three-door variant of this as well. Uh, I don't really like the three-door variant. I, I prefer this two-door. Uh, hello, how are you? I'm good, mate. When's the next roleplay video? Coming very soon, I promise. Very, very soon. I've just been a little bit behind. Uh, they finally improved the TikTok. Yes, they've. Uh, this is going to have massive improvements on the TikTok, and I think it affects the G3 pack as well. So. Nice. Okay, let's uh, shut the door. Let's advance our time forward a little bit. Uh, we're due out at 7, so let's get this up to... 58 nice 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 get rid of you and uh, let's uh, let's do some driving uh, Be handy if I shut the back door don't forget to shut the back door
We'll let this car go past. Uh, I'm out on the U18 now, nice. So yeah, uh, so the next up will be the B7 again. We're going to be in the Voigt tonight and the Euro 4 engine. It was much requested yesterday. We'll be on the dual door. I think the dual door looks quite nice as well, personally. And nobody at the first stop. Try and get some uh, nice pictures while we're waiting, I suppose. Shame that my blind isn't working. What the number might at least show. Okay, so we uh, can heat the bus to 21 degrees. We might as well. Uh, we'll see what the heating's like in this. What we'll do, we'll turn it up. And just see, does it control the heat well or not? And uh, we're pretty much due out. Callum Ford, good evening. Thomas Walters, hi there, everyone. Uh, been fighting over the, the 100 on games with free. <laughs> yeah, everyone seems to be fighting over the 100. So look, when uh, Michael's line pack comes out, our drivers are not going to have a problem on BCS for the line 100 at all. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it gets approved by PDP pretty quickly. I might give him an email myself just to jeer it up a little bit. Okay, let's get out of here then. So we're on the 201. This is one of the uh, line pack expansions. Royal Playmore Company has organized a farewell tour of the B7 Eclipse. I wouldn't even waste my time driving our B7 Eclipse. I can't wait to sell the thing. It's not worth anything now. Do you know uh, when this is coming out or not? No worries, it's not. No, I'm, I have no idea. I have the same information as you guys. Uh, coming soon. Alexander's, uh, can we have a look through the interior cameras? Yeah, once I get to a bus stop down here or something, we'll, we'll go through the interior cameras. All right, got to be a bit wider as we're an old bendy bendy. I hate when the reflections make your map roads tingle like that. Uh, what's going on? Why are you taking so damn long? What's taking so damn long? I've made 19k on BCS in the past three days. Oh, wow. Staff shell Yorkshire County 3. Thomas, are you in our company or is this your own company? York Spotter, good evening. Hello, hello. Did you get a chance to message my switch about the squeaking sound? Uh, I've got a little list compiled for them. I'm not sure we'll get a, a squeaking sound before release, but who knows. Uh, are the AI humans a DLC? Yes, these are the human packs, so I have different people and passengers. Highly recommend those packs when they go on sale on Steam. You can pick up a pack for like three or four pounds, if that. Uh, highly recommend them. Have I seen the new biogas ones in Bristol? No, I haven't. I'm on yours, sorry. Bus driver 601. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've seen you've been quite busy. Good, mate. It's good, Thomas. It's nice to it's nice to see. Like I said, we've got a lot of drivers, uh, a lot of buses. People seem pretty happy, so it's, it's good to see so many people playing BCS. Hello, Jamie. How are you? The only thing I don't like about Gainsborough is just so quiet. I just find most of the time we're just waiting at bus stops and stuff, especially this time of the evening now. Uh, does this bus go past the bus station on this route to 201? If Michael's in the chat, he'll tell you. This is actually one of the ones I haven't done, so I was quite excited to do it, and uh, we're doing it. Uh, Johnny, I'm in the company, but I'm inactive, so I get new pedals. No worries, mate. Got to take a nice little wide berth here. We should squeeze out. Okay, the other car came up a lot faster than I expected. He can wait. 
It looks like. Okay, let's put our foot down in a second and see what it's, she's like. We all know that the BA is not particularly quick and this is going to be heavy, so I don't expect massive speed. Uh, if we had more people on Gamesboro, it would be even better, but I like it anyway. Yeah, I like it. It just needs to, uh, even though I've got my passengers up like 150% or whatever it is, there's just nobody on this map. It's a very quiet map. That's the only thing I don't like, but it's a lovely map to drive. I just wish the. I know it's trying to be realistic to the area, which is great, uh, but it, it needs more passengers. Like, just driving around empty does my nothing. Uh, is this game. Uh, is this games for phase three? No, we're on phase two because the line pack hasn't been updated for three yet. And unfortunately, Games UK and the company took the last uh, routes on uh, three, so we're doing two at the moment. Wait, when did Bristol get bu gas buses? Oh, okay, yeah, I don't know about that either. Is there going to be an Eclipse to Bendy? Uh, I don't know. In this pack, no. The only bendy buses, well, there's two bendy buses, uh, the B8s, but uh, one's three door, the other one's two door. I think this bus is more for a bit of fun than anything else. It's quiet in real life, me and my mate went to stop there, and we could literally walk in the middle of the road, it was so quiet, yeah. Yeah, I know it's quite in real life, but for OMSI, it just, even if it's just up a little bit, you know, just so we got a couple of passengers on, you know, we'll probably drive the whole route with one passenger. And because of it, look, we're already ahead of time, and because we're on BCS, we need to stay within the time limits. No earlier than two, no later than three, the best we can for our driver scores. So... That's the only thing. Uh, the Omni Deck will be released after this. Yep, I believe so. Again, when? Who knows? Hopefully soon. I'm really looking forward to the Omni Decker. I heard that the Omni Decker is. yet yeah, because of any parts. Don't believe it. Um, no, I've heard the same thing from uh, people that the Omni Decker was pretty much there. But it can't be released because it uses some of the Hanover mods and stuff from this uh, this pack. So it does need this pack to release before the Omni Decker can release. So we'll see. Uh, no, I don't speak to Gary. He's from Dublin. We don't talk to Dubliners over here. I'd be hung, drawn and quartered. Do I want some news? Sure. You finish your line pack. Super Skipper will use them in long routes and sell the C400 Londons. Oh, nice. The B8 sounds epic. It is nice, isn't it? So yeah, we'll keep it nice and wide. Got these Saxo drivers. Look at all these guys. Serious? You're gonna wait for me there? Okay. 
and now you're gonna drive into me. That is awesome. Gotta love OMSI AI sometimes. I should've just drove out instead of waiting. Gary, up the dubs. Oh look, you made me crash again, Gary. See? That's why we don't talk to Dublins. Started rolling out color coded routes, branding for my fleet, the buses that no branding applied. Ah oh, nice. Yeah, I see I can't do that because we have so many drivers. If I branded one bus, I'd need I mean we have like all the maps, left handed maps, I'd need like so many copies of the same bus. That's why I can't brand our buses. Our buses just have that plain brand for that reason. Look, a lot of people don't like the Sydney Connect repaints in the company and they use their own. Uh, that's completely up to you guys. You know, I don't force anyone to have to use the repaints. They're just there if people want them. It is nice to see all the pictures that people post when they're using them, but, you know, I'm not tying anyone down and saying this is what you have to use. We're not like that. You know... As some companies go, we're very relaxed. We, you know, anyone can do whatever they want kind of thing. They can drive any route, any bus. Whatever's free, they can do. Sounds like someone's drilling on your bus then. <laughs> uh, line pack available on web disk, and I've asked for BCS to put it on there. It's also, I do it right, games will be busier. Awesome. That's what we like to hear, Michael. Line pack extension for games with three. It's desperately needed. Just means people in the company can now drive it. That's what we were saying about last night. You know, a lot of us come home late. Uh, what's the two dashboard lights? I have two lights on the way. Uh, I have to wait till I go around the corner. Where's my mouse? There it is. Oh, all that is is your exhaust uh, regenerating from the carbon uh, you don't worry about that what it does it means when you stop and stuff your bus will rev higher for a little bit it basically is trying to uh, clean itself buses do it like once or twice a day when they're in use all the time uh, so yeah that's just a regen for the carbon particulate filter so when you see it it doesn't mean anything wrong with your bus it just means um, you will notice it'll rev higher while that's on it will disappear over a bit of time normally 20 minutes half hour Caden Kemp, hello. How long left? We've only really just started, so quite a bit. Uh, Super Skipper would love to team up with Simply Connect. I'm very careful who I hire. That's why you're private. Yeah, see, that, that's the thing with private. Like, when we're private, in some ways, you can control the company more. Uh, now that, you know, look, we have 100 drivers and, you know, people are cancelling left, right, and centre. Ratings go up and down like a yo-yo. It, it, it's very difficult to manage. Because ratings are important. People don't understand, but it's for maps. If you don't have good ratings, we can't add new maps. So if we had new maps, we can't add them. Currently, we're in an, a position that we still can, but it can happen. We've been in positions where we were nearly three months with no new maps. Uh, it, it was brutal. I'm hoping everything works out. It should the line pack OMS yet? It would be a pig with this line pack. <laughs> yeah, I hope it goes well. I hope they'll add it soon. Like I said, when we're a gold-rated company, you should say when you when you write to BCS, you should tell them you work with Simply Connect because they know who I am. There's been two maps added today. But it's good. I, I think they need to react fast. The one thing about PDP that used to annoy me was their customer service. Like, you might email them about something and they could take three or four days to reply. Or if you wanted to add a map or anything, um, or if you put anything on the forum, it, it could take days. I mean, look at when when we had the first big line pack done on... Um, uh, mine's just gone completely blank. But it took them like three months nearly. Now that we're all paying for BCS, well, not everybody, but a lot of people are probably paying a premium. As well as gold companies, like, you know, we've got to pay an extra premium just to be a gold company. I, I think uh, we should get stuff like that, you know, if we want stuff added. 
I think if they want to keep us paying, they'll, they'll have to work a bit faster than they used to. So hopefully they will. I'm still messing with this Hong Kong one. <laughs> uh, what, you're driving it or are you trying to install it? Smarten, that's the one. The one that should not be named. Yeah, Smarden took forever. Forever. Don't get me wrong, PDP have always been good to me. They've given me plenty of keys to hand out to people over the, over the period of time. And, you know, when we had issues with certain individuals, you know, they did react eventually as well. But, yeah, hopefully now that there's a premium, hopefully now they will speed up their customer service and stuff. That'd be really good. Oh, you're still trying to install it. Uh, is the BA already in OMSI in real life? Is the... Hang on, we're all confused. Is the BA in OMSI in real life? Uh, the B8 is already there if you have the Yorkshire Counties map. There is a variant of the B8. Uh, beautiful bus and sounds are very excited. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I'm enjoying this, even though we're not picking up anyone. It's kind of like uh, white noise, isn't it? Apart from my horrible voice. If I just sat here now, didn't have the camera on, we could all sleep. Yeah, the BAs do exist in some companies, yeah. This, uh, this Bendy... No, this is purely fictional. I don't mind Smarden, but it's one of those maps that people enjoy, but it just destroys your ratings because the people complain at every corner and you're hitting every curb. It's one of those ones for uh, the company, it's very difficult, but, like, we have it there and people drive it. But it, it is one of those ones that... It's a pain. I, I only do the circulars, really. I don't mind the circulars on the odd occasion. Uh, but that's about it. And sometimes, like, the, the hotel drops. I might do a leg of them where I do all of them. They're about 10 minutes long each. But, yeah. Comes with a branding patch. To, uh, I'm sure there will be a branding... Uh, patch out at some point after release i don't know if it's ready to go or not i i, I wasn't given it so I, i'm gonna assume maybe not um but yeah i'm sure there'll be a branding patch before long uh you've just gone into the web disk and installed the new yep yeah, awesome make sure we all give it a thumbs up for michael as well because if you give it a thumbs up the faster it becomes on bcs because it sees that people are downloading it so now that Michael has just announced that his games uh, line extension for Phase 3 is out on the web disc, put a link there, Michael, if you want, or I'll do one when I stop at the next stop if we ever stop. And um, put a link out to everybody if you want, or I'll put a link out. I'll stop here in a second. This is actually one of ours. We are a minute early, I think, aren't we? I'm not sure if he can put a link, so I'm sure he's put it in the Discord already. Let's have a look. No. Okay, I'll go to the web disk very quickly. Uh, so yeah, so the new line pack is what we're after, map mods. Here it is. Uh, Michael has done some amazing work with Omzi recently. Great driver to have here in the company. Uh, his Horizon ones are there as well, they're really good. Oh, crap. There we go. If anyone wants the new line packs for games with version 3 for Michael, they are now available on web disc. I've just put the link out there. Uh, I'll pin it, actually. Watch, watch me crash now.
I can't control my wheel. Hang on. There we go. It should pin there now. Uh, so yeah, it is now available for you to download, guys. So if you want some, uh, so what he has done, there's uh, the line extra routes, uh, and he's updated the frequency of the timetable so we can drive it later. Hopefully, it'll be added to BCS in the next day or two. That's what we need. Are the Horizon ones? Uh, are the Horizon ones on uh, BCS now? The new ones already? Can't remember. Did you say if they've been put on BCS yet? But there you go. Anyone that wants extra lines on games with version three, uh, they are out now on web disc. Transport enthusiast, uh, what what new routes are there? Well, Michael can explain if he wants, because I haven't seen the new one. I've literally just put a link. He's probably put a readme in there. You could always do that as well. Michael might give us a little bit more information. But if we all could, if you do download them, can you give them a thumbs up on the web disk if you can? Uh, it does help a lot for us on BCS to get it put in. Do you get messages on the Tigta like on SP? Um, I This is only the second time we've driven with the Tigta. I've been using the old machine. So far, nothing. I do like our name though. Our driver name is pretty cool. Where's it gone? I can't remember where it's gone now. We need to focus on the driving a little bit. Uh, when will this pack come out? Uh, the bus pack itself? No idea. Coming soon. Coming soon. Uh, so I, I can't imagine it too long at this stage, you know. I'm sure there's other content creators that have keys to it as well. I'm sure. I, I mean, Eamon's already done stuff on it, I believe, didn't he? Uh, he did, the sh did he do a showcase video? Can't remember. Um... I'm sure it won't be long before Joe Dobbs will do something. I know all of you guys follow and watch him. Uh, I'm sure he probably got one. I'm sure he'll do some videos if he already hasn't. Maybe he's done something today. I haven't been near YouTube today, so maybe. Eight lines long, two long ones, rest up to 30 minutes. Uh, Horizon lines are on BCS, only three lines at present, but will be more in the future. Okay, yeah. I haven't downloaded them yet. I need to do the Horizon ones. I haven't selected the duty. I have, haven't I? I have because look, next stop is Pear Tree House. Last stop, two minutes late. Don't mess with me. All right, let's put our foot down a little bit then. I can't believe we've had no passengers. Be a great town to drive in. Quiet all the time. Finish early. Good evening. How are you? Please, Omzi, please don't crash. You got the Hong Kong map installed. Is it not all in one place then though? Is it one of those ones we have to go searching? Oh, invisible car there. Bloody hell, we're seeing another bus. Simply connect as well.
Uh, rip Omzi. <laughs> just loading in a new tile, thankfully. Uh, just putting out there, people may uh, show on the buses, but people do get on. You are more than welcome to make hoss for it. There we go. Yeah, for me, the people... The, the thing not working on the front doesn't bother me. As long as people get on and I get paid for the company, I'm, I'm okay. How many buses are in this pack? Uh, we counted yesterday. Is it 13? In, well, all the variants. Might be less, actually, now thinking about it. Uh, once we get to the end or a bus stop or whatever, uh, I'll count exactly how many again, because I've completely forgotten. We did count them yesterday at the beginning. We went through all the different variants. I don't remember things very well. Uh, those Hong Kong ALX 500s. God, they're a pile of poo, aren't they? Yeah, no passengers. We've, we're, it's too late in the evening. Like, this time in the evening on Gamesboro is just dead. I knew it would be, but everybody wanted a games of a run, so we've done one. We might get somebody on near the end, maybe, if we're lucky. 24 variants. Gaming, hey, life sucks. Uh, your side of the world. You, your side will f the world. Huh? My side. Here in Ireland, we do nothing. Only two on the U18. Yeah, it's getting quite late in the evening now. You need to be on Yorkshire if you want people. Uh, Max, the dog has just come to join me under my feet and pedals. Dog. Oh my god. Okay, he's now sitting on my feet, which is sitting on the pedals and pulling all my wires. Go on, dog. Go on. Go on, we're running late here. Pain in the ass. Stay. Max. Get out. He wants to jump on my lap, I think. Just stay there. Any left-handed buses in the pack? No. If you put a link for the traffic sign, can you put in Discord for other drivers, please? <laughs> Is that for the Hong Kong? Uh, how's life? Uh, yeah, look, Ireland is uh, getting back together. You know, no one's wearing masks anymore, and we don't talk about COVID numbers anymore. I don't even know how many cases of COVID was in the last, like, six weeks. I wouldn't have a clue. Uh, yeah, we're, we're like, nothing's happened here. Yeah, doggo. I don't know, he just walked away now. Next time he comes back, I'll bring him back up and say hello. You're desperate to prove me wrong about this ticketer, aren't you? I've accepted the trip. We can't select it, it's greyed out. It's because it's selected. Here is our... I did accept it. Okay, you're right. I did accept it the first time and did that, but obviously... Uh... Yeah, doesn't matter. No one's getting on anyways. I let you off, you were right. Our list of buses. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you the list of buses now here. So... Including this pack, you'll have the Masterbus Veiling 2 B7 RLE 12.1 in the Euro 5 Eco Life. This will come in a one and two door variant. You have the Masterbus Veiling 2 B7 12.1 Euro 4 Eco Mat, uh, one door, two door variants. 
Uh, you also have the Master Bus Veiling 2 B7 12.1 Euro 4 Voith, which is what we're going to drive next, I believe. Uh, you also have the Master Bus Veiling 2 B8 12.4 1 and 2 door variant. Uh, you have the Veiling 3 B8 12.4. Uh, that's in 1 or 2 door. Then you have that longer variant, which I said about earlier, that we still need to look at as well, which is a B8 uh, Veiling 3. 13.1 meters that only comes in the one door variant uh, you got the master bus veiling b8 80 meter two and three door we're driving that currently and you also have the veiling three falcon 12.1 which comes in one door and two door variants uh, you last night we drove that in the one door variant there you go that's what you're getting Uh, okay, so I'll just put all that out there. Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? Did someone call me wrong? I've, I've just literally read out the list. And obviously that doesn't include all the setters you have with them as well. Plenty you can do uh, with the buses. Yeah, a VDL SB200 Pulsar. But like once you've done the repaint for one B7, it fits all the other B7s. There's, there's not nothing in the templates as such as that paint all the extra bits so voith euro 4 yep that's what we're driving next b7 voith zero four uh, sorry zero four euro four are you a passenger or are you just a woman walking by for a bit of fun you cow come on please free ride I haven't changed this to miles per hour either. You have to accept it twice. <laughs> My bad. I'm too busy rushing to get going after messing around. So yeah, last night we were in the B7 Euro 5 Eco, Eco Life, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just nice to have a few. Means more money on BCS. Makes my runs feel more worth it. <laughs> uh, you gonna take a bend out in London? Someone wanted the cameras earlier. That seems to be nearly it, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's nice to have a good bendy. Yeah, it's nice to have a bendy. I mean, it has 102 passengers. Uh, none of the maps are busy enough, though. Yorkshire, you might get half full, but yeah, it's, it's nice to have a 
you know, a little bit of fun. Sometimes, you know, for me, that's what OMS is more about, like, I drive buses for real, I don't need to be serious in the game, like, you know, displays have to work, hoffs have to work, as long as passengers get on and off, I can drive around, happy days. Even at work, I forget about the destinations half the time. Most of our buses here now have um, GPS tracking for them, so literally, we, we just type in 999, and every time we get to a destination, it swaps the display for you, so you don't even need to look at it. So there is like the odd bus where it doesn't work and sometimes I go around with nothing on the front anyways So, you know, even in real life, I do the same crap Yeah, the UK could do with some good coaches I must admit Your messages probably aren't showing if they're up on the side here or do you just mean on YouTube Maxwell because they are there But I don't I don't have the message thing up The metro will become redundant. <laughs> I'm confused how I'm running so late. Yeah, we could do with a good coach, I must admit. You see, that's the good thing about the left-hand maps. We've got some great Aveco coaches and stuff there. But they have the maps. For, I mean, this run, you could put a coach on easy. But, uh, yeah, a lot of them are just towns, aren't they? That's the, that's the main thing, isn't it? I make them full. I just global files. I mess with so many files as it is. If you post your global files, I'm happy to put mine in. Put yours in mine. <laughs> you made a repaint out of it. <laughs> um, no, I just had an issue a few days ago. They didn't show up, so I was just cautious. Yeah, look, for me, like I said, even in real life, I forget my displays half the time. Or I might not drive city work for ages, and then like maybe like if you're spare or something and you get caught on a shift, or say if you're doing overtime and you do a bit of city work, I can never remember the bloody codes, so if I get the buses that don't have the automatic codes, I get screwed. Uh, Andy's just about to pass us on the map, 18145. He's just going down the main road behind us. Are you going to get on? I feel like she might. Maybe if I just type this in again. No. Please. Oh, anyways, carry on. <laughs> no worries, mate. Well, Andy's just gone into the bus station as we leave. Uh, Curtis, the green thing. What green thing? Oh, you mean the uh, telematics? Uh, this bus variant doesn't seem to have telematics. Not that I can see. Generally, they sit on top of the dashboard as lights. Yeah, I don't think this bus has the telematics. I don't really drive on OMSI much as I get bored quite quickly, but it will be fun to speed around in the veiling. <laughs> A developer recently got the body etc in game, they're making a Trident version first, then the other variants are later date. Oh, nice. Uh, let me know how the Hong Kong map is. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's one I'll download, even though I do like the Beijing. Yeah, 
Yeah, everyone's looking forward to the Renown as well. I don't think the Renown should be too far away. Studio Polygon might be creeping there in the background. Nobody. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Always floating around. Uh, did you go on another route? Not yet. We'll go on another route in a minute. Can't wait for the Vading Classic, especially. For me, I'd, uh, the Renown is a big one for me. A lot of buses used to go on as a child. SP's always lurking somewhere. Must admit, we haven't had any updates about the Renown. It would be lovely to get a, a sneaky screenshot put up in your Discord, SP. So we can all have a look. Every time I look in your Discord, people are taking the piss out of me, so I, I don't really look in there too often. But if you put a picture up, I'll have a look. No, there was an announcement that it wasn't coming in Q1. Are they trying to read and drive as hard work here? How the frig did I end up being five minutes late on this route? I've not even picked up a single passenger. Have I been on the Layla National yet? I've also driven old route masters and everything like that. First used to have some. We used to take them up to Legoland and stuff. When does it release? Which is what? What releases? Uh, such a charming server as always. Uh, the, only t <laughs> the only time I ever see anything is people saying something about me or simply connect. I think you're all jealous. Renown update does have a set date though. Oh, nice. We'll have to wait for Aerosoft to say something. Then is that, is that how we're going? <laughs> Why not share a screenshot? get people excited even if it's the ones from three years ago that people keep circulating saying that they're the new ones uh, we need a newer model of the e400 e200 uh, Mike's excited for the renown and the omni deck yeah I'm looking forward to the omni decker as well well, we just had news from the man himself. There is a set date, just not allowed to know the date. It, it could be Christmas of this year. It could be any time. <laughs> uh, you thought I was a pilot? No, I, I... I fly, as in got the license, um, but I drive buses in real life. I need to find that screenshot. I'm going to post it in my server later and tell everybody, look, I've got a latest picture of the Renown. Uh, what was getting rebuilt? The Renown? The images of the old screenshots of Gemini's are probably are very unlikely to be anything at how the buses will look and release. 
Oh, <laughs> trying to read. Is the Omni Decker going to be on Steam? I have no clue about the Omni Decker. Gem hasn't said very much. I've seen some pictures, uh, and that is it. I, I have no idea about the Omni Decker. The last I heard was it couldn't release until the veiling had released because it's using some of the uh, display stuff, I believe. Um, in, in regards to release, uh, I don't think it's going to be on Steam because it, I, it's, going, it's supposed to be freeware still. I don't know if they changed their mind. Is it payware, freeware? I, I have no idea, but... Yeah, send me an old one in a minute and I'll, I'll post something later just for a laugh. The Omni Decker will be free. Well, we haven't heard anything, have we? Who knows? M people's minds can change. You know, it takes a lot of time and effort to make buses. You never know. But yeah, as far as I know, it's supposed to be free, isn't it? We need some news. But like I said, I think once the veiling comes out, we'll start hearing news about the Omni Decker. Hopefully, anyways. And I suppose uh, if there is a set date about this renown. I suppose we're going to wait on Aerosoft to send a message out about that one, are we? Okay, Route 1 done. When will the Master Bus Vading release? Uh, no idea. No idea. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't get classified information. All I know, coming soon. And look, if uh, content creators have started to do content, it's never too far away. But at the same time, you never know. Oh, that's a sh corner for a bendy. Okay, only five minutes late on that one. That's not bad. Where do you get this software from the one it converts it into Mars now? If you just click on it, oh, hang on. If you just click on this, it changes from kilometers to miles per hour. If anyone wants to know, but use it. Uh, this run, thankfully, is done. Bloody hell, what happened here? <laughs> I, I don't know how they can do that to you when you've had nobody on the bus. That's not really fair, but anyways. Uh, people say it comes in threes, so what do you reckon? Veiling, Omni Deco Renown? Is that what we're all thinking? Never know. SP might sneak in there and give us a Renown this week if we're lucky, eh? Anyways, guys, so what we're going to do next, uh, we are looking at the B7 Voif E4. I think some people were quite excited for this one yesterday. I think it was one that was requested the most was a Voif. Uh, bus over and drew their B10s in 2015. Yeah, it's a shame we got rid of those B10s. They get rid of all the Gem 3s now as well. They've all gone to the uh, hybrid MMC 400s. Even we we had brand new Gem threes come in in 20, uh, 2019, 2020, and then twenty one we had a couple of twenty one plate Gem threes, and now they've kind of all gone and they're replacing them with uh, four hundred hybrid MMCs. <laughs> Chance will be a fine thing, but uh, you know we've got to try every now and again. Okay, anything on here that we can do? West Country, which one's this? Mm. Should we do a West Country one in the evening? Harbour to the... Uh, yeah, let's do that. We might finish this tonight then. So we'll do a West Country again tonight. Uh, that DLC is coming soon as well. I spoke to Aerosoft about that. I, all I know is that I will have access to it. I just don't know when either. But I think it's coming soon. That DLC looks good. Oh, uh, the Renown won't be on Steam. 
Uh, just just give it 24 hours and uh, we'll all just send it to each other, right? Isn't that what we do? And then we'll go into the SP server and, and ask for help. But it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Next bus. See look, our little collection company is starting to build. Just one. So yeah. Uh, E4, G, uh, so, ah, um, oh, please tell me that's the double door. No, it's you. Okay, so I brought another one. That's the Voif E4, G. I'm not sure what the difference between the G was. At the moment, we'll work it out. Okay, let's drive this bus then. Um, I don't think this is the line pack one, is it? No, it's just the usual. Yeah. Do we have any ticket inspectors? Yeah, you've got one. Uh, one of the places I want to visit one day, if uh, where you're from is in real life, we have some massive coaches in Australia, especially where I live outside the city. I prefer trains myself personally. Uh, I lived in Australia for a couple of years. There's some nice buses in Australia. you got some nice kind of coaches, but it's long distance like... People forget how, like, even I forgot how big Australia is. I remember one night I was uh, absolutely smashed and I was getting, I lived in the city centre, but to get a bus across the city would take like half an hour or you could get the train, which would take like three minutes to the next stop. And then I'd get off at Central and walk up to my flat. Um, I fell asleep. I woke up three hours later in a place called Wollongong, uh, real south of Sydney. It was, uh, that was the last train. I had to sleep on the platform uh, until the first train back it was about five hours and uh, luckily it was a really warm evening it was in the summertime thankfully because there was no shelter so I just slept on the bench uh, so that's how dangerous it can be in Australia <laughs> G might be the gasket yeah, it probably is yeah uh, who is the renown made from uh, V3D coming back into bus creation again <laughs> uh, simulation nation hello hello so yeah guys look we're, we're quite excited for this b7 i thought the i thought the e5 looked really good yesterday it sounded awesome so hopefully this has got a nice gearbox on it as well bit of west country Uh, hopefully no spiders crawled on you as you slept, but not have a clue. To be honest with you, the spiders for me didn't bother me, it's the snakes. Snakes bothered me more than spiders. Like one of my friends in Australia, he lived um he lived quite out of the city. So like when you're in the city, you don't see any of these animals apart from cockroaches. Cockroaches are everywhere. The floor moves in, in Sydney. I was so shocked. It is quite a filthy place uh, in the city. And uh, he lived out in the country uh, a couple of hours out. And any time we were down that way or we're out drinking and we stayed at his, like, he used to get, like, the big spiders in his garage and stuff. Like, they never bother me. It's always the snakes. Snakes are too fast. G1 will be better than the MMC. What I love about the community is the most is that we're about to get this bus pack and we're already talking about other buses. Like, we know this is coming now, so we want everything else. <laughs> we you know, let's talk about, we want the renowned uh, classics now. Let's go. Uh, Jordan on Facebook. I, I haven't even looked, mate. In all honesty, I haven't even looked. We could probably finish up in Yorkshire, maybe. This is an event, so this is good for us. Okay, let's get rid of you first. Let's move you up. I wish it'd just stay up here. Bloody annoys me. 
Okay, we got ticket inspector, so we can do that today. Uh, what are we doing? Route two, one more uh, line. Sunday in Bangkok. Is it Sunday already? Oh, it's Sunday, isn't it? Car, oh, so confused. Two one zero two. Uh, we're doing the twelve to the hospital. Nice. We'll have a look outside in a second. So yeah. Like I said last night, unfortunately our company just got rid of our last one of these. It's such a shame. I think it went to Limerick. All our routes got upgraded to double deckers. Okay. I'm gonna throw our module in. These are the ticket machines that we still have on our bus. Oh, they just changed them, but till quite recently. Okay, I didn't get a chance to even work this out yesterday. Oh, there you go, look. Destination 12. Maybe that's all I need to do. Oh no, come back. Oh, bugger. Okay, I've somehow managed to bug this up. It did come up with the 12 just then. There we go. No, I have no idea. These are the old style. No, I don't think many buses use them. Okay, let's just get our 12 to the hospital. And then we have a good little look. So yeah, we're using the dual door this time. Uh, I think this is going to be my favorite variant. Like I said, last night in Yorkshire, I felt it very slow getting people on and off. Uh, so yeah, high hopes. Oh, hang on, we're selling tickets now, are we? Uh, so differences of last night is the window colors are slightly different. It's got higher. Okay, that now looks pretty crap because there's a lot of black there. I might have to do something with this. Uh, I moved the Sydney Connect down as well. I'm not allowed to rev it. Why can't I rev it? Probably because the door's open. No! Can't rev it. Even though I'm out of gear. Well, there we go. Okay, let's just see what time we're leaving here because I didn't actually check the timetable. Uh, 8 o'clock on the dot. Nice. Changes to miles per hour. Heat a bus up. Oh, there you go. Come up here now. I like dual door buses, even in real life, it's just so much easier getting people on and off. Uh, I think they're similar to the Eclipse 3 East Coast ones. Beautiful bus, it is a beautiful bus. Interior scroll. While we're waiting. Got like the... Uh, like old style coach seats in it. There we go.
Okay, let's fast forward our time. Any more for any more? Doesn't look like it. Might be a quiet run. Those seats are questionable, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, look, there's lots of choices and stuff. I literally, um, I kind of went off there once for the CTIs. Yeah, I have skipped time. We were just looking around the bus. Regarding dual doors, I like them in real life. And I'm keep forgetting to open them. Otherwise, unintentionally <laughs> trying to close the front door. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that is annoying. Even in real life, you press both the buttons. And even though you press them, sometimes you, you don't close the back. And beep, 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 beep. They look like the seats out of the B9. Cambridge Brussway. Seats are for the stagecoach guideway liveries. Yeah, like I said, uh, I haven't had time to do the seats. I've just had enough time to get repaints done. It wasn't like... I knew that this was coming to me or anything like that uh, so yeah we'll, we'll probably change out the uh, seats and stuff in the company on the repaints and stuff we got loads of uh, stuff we can play with with the settlers and stuff so there will be of course changes does my closed door button not work i'm sure it will work oh there you go just delayed like real life so that's delayed because uh, obviously the driver needs to get out. So yeah, even as a driver, I forget these things. I don't know. It doesn't mind me having the coach style seats. It's kind of nice just to have different things. So there you go. We're talking about doors and I've left the back door open. Okay. This is the one that people are quite excited for. I'm going to turn on the high beams just so we can see a bit more of the map. Look, makes it look a bit nicer. When we get on the straight, we will uh, go outside. We'll listen to the engine a bit more. Hopefully I didn't just open up the back door. I don't think I did. What the hell? Why am I neutral? Uh, the back doors look weird. Okay, I read that bit. Sounds nice. Sounds nice so far. I can't wait to give it a bit of a rag on the old motorway bit. bit of power uh, inside I play ETS ATS yes we actually have a Simply Connect company in ETS and ATS on trucks but I haven't driven in a while the back doors are normal they just aren't plug doors all the presence and stuff screw you. At the end of the route, can you uh, pop the ramp out? Yep, we can pop the ramp out. Like I said, for me, the only thing that I would love just a little bit more is a bit more wear and tear. Because uh, then I'd feel like I was on the ones at work, like I said yesterday. 
Ours are pretty battered. Gone round the clock a couple of hundred times, probably. You ass of a taxi. Sounds like the engine's gonna blow, doesn't it? Can we have a rear, middle, interior view for the fresh? Okay, once I stop at the next stop, I will. It is a screamer, isn't it? Didn't go quite where I wanted it to go on the views. This kids will be wondering now what the frig is wrong with this driver. Go inside. They've done a fantastic job on this bus. Oh, I love it. I didn't think I was going to be in as love as I was because when you drive them for real, sometimes, like, you pick up on things too much. But the B7 yesterday, I loved the Euro 5. I think Euro 5 uh, sounds were absolutely awesome. It sounded like an absolute beast. Wheel is audible in this video. Uh, what, my steering wheel? There you go, you got some nice rattles. There was a, gas a gasket one next to us, wasn't there? So what we'll do... I don't know if the repaint is on it or not, but what we'll do, if we have time, we'll do a very short run and we'll take the gasket out. Um, but we could do it in tomorrow's stream. Like I said, I have been requested to do a few of these now while we're waiting for release, so... We will. No. Ah, shit. We'll pretend that never happened. Well, 
Holy crap! My own bus just tried to cut us off and kill us. Killed Omzi. That road car doing in West Country 3. Uh, AI list. <laughs> uh, <B. laughs> Whoa, let's slow it down a bit now. It feels quite fast as well. Okay, now that we got a couple of passengers, we'll send a ticket inspector out. Yeah, uh, just gonna sit back and wait for that message from Aerosoft. I don't know who might announce it first. It might be Aerosoft. It might be uh, Master Switch themselves. They might announce it first. Who knows? I wonder if the classics will just be an edited Euro 4 veiling too, as I don't see why a whole new model would be built when replacing front and rear ends. Yeah, like, who knows? I'd say you're probably right, but I don't do modeling and stuff, so no idea. Would you have to pay for all the vehicles? Would you have to pay for all the vehicles in the veiling packs? Uh, what do you mean, would I have to pay? Uh, it's just a bus pack, so if you want one of the buses, you have to buy them all, if that's what you're on about. Alexander is uh, only thing I would say it sounds a little high pitched for a voice from my personal experience it isn't much of a why more of a woo 
the ones that we had weren't voif, so to be honest with you, I can't remember fully. That's why I preferred the Euro 5 yesterday. So, I will, uh, it's great to have your opinions and feedback. Oh, they still get out the front door if you don't open the back door. So that's something that's pretty good. <laughs> And then we got a nice. Uh, I don't know why those game. Is that that's like is that a game for one just trolling around? Uh, we are passing uh, Jax. He's just coming down here. As we get onto Disney Street. Oh, I need to open the back door too. Balls. Still a very good model though, with great sounds. Yeah, like I said, this was what was really requested uh, yesterday. I've never been on, uh, like I said, the ones that we had were Euro 5s. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to read that. Uh, E400 LXBs are dual door around here, but drivers never use the back door. I, I always use the back door because, like, our stops are quite busy, so... They can all get out the back while I can start loading the front. It speeds things up so much. Then everyone trying to force their way in and out of the front door. But still, even though you do that, everyone gets off the back door. You still get Doris, who will have to come off the front door and barge her way through everybody and be an absolute pain in the ass. Uh, or someone really rude and inconsiderate that barges everyone out of the way. Like, it doesn't matter what you do, you still get these people. Uh, we'll try and squeeze in a short run somewhere. I'll, I'll take the gasket version out just for a quick see what, it, what it's all about. See if the repaint worked or not, because I haven't, I haven't tested it. Would you guys still want me to do some more runs with these buses tomorrow? Or, or have you guys had enough now as well? Uh, what company do I work for? I work for Bus Aaron. Oh, that wasn't my green light. Thanks. <laughs> Dual doors seem like a much easier option for entering and exiting. It is, but people still don't grasp the concept that they just think it's there as an option and they still go out the front bloody door. Uh, and like, you know, you can see that clearly you're loading like, one of our bus stops on the 409 is absolutely mental. Yeah, every time you get there, you're full, full unloading and you're full loading. And no matter what you do, people still, you're loading and the queue's out the door and you'll still get some assholes that will barge their way through all the people just to, to get off the front. And then they don't even say thank you. <laughs> Wouldn't mind if they put in all that effort to say, cheers driver, you know. Nah. We don't get any of that. Or tomorrow. That's one vote. Two votes I see so far. Let's have a break and let people see what they like when it's released. Ah, okay, some people want to, want no more. Uh, Landlords is coming back. Don't worry, uh, Jonathan. It is coming back. Uh, the bus where you can't use the back door on. Oh, wow. That makes absolutely no bloody sense, does it? Jonathan, did you buy Landlord Super in the end? I think that's what happened with Yorkshire. I think uh, I overdid it and people were had enough by the time I was finished. Does the ticket machine make that beep 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 sound? Yeah. 
what you're supposed to do when you go past one stop, you're supposed to uh, uh, click the next button down. But this has just got your singles returns. But basically, you'd have all your bus stops. And as you pass one, you'd press the button and then it'd skip one down. So if you had loads of bus stops until you got to the end, then when you get to the end, uh, you'd press the square button. It's not doing it. It'd give you another screen of options. But yeah. Yeah, half the bus stops. If you open the back door, it opens onto the road. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. It's probably why no one uses them. Well, we'll see what the feel like is tomorrow. And if we do tomorrow, then uh, I'll leave it until release for you guys. Unless there's any reason that it, I sense that it could be delayed, then maybe we'll, we'll do a few more. We're, we're pretty much, you know, through the variants as such. You know, it's just slightly different things. Oh, sugar, somebody wants to get off here. Seven day. But yeah, normally what you do if, if I press, say, Devon Day first, then I'd get the option for these. That's how ours would work. We've got these stupid handheld ones that they brought in now. Could we hear the Euro 4 Eco Map? Um, like I said, if we do one more tomorrow. I'll make sure I bring in the uh, the eco map variant uh, for eco map. Crashing into everything here, but yeah, I don't want to spoil too much for you guys. I want you guys to obviously get excited, but I want you guys to obviously experience stuff for yourself as well. This route's almost done. Yeah, I literally got to turn this corner. Come on, mate. Green still means we can go if there's no traffic. I'm not sure what gearbox the uh, the gasket variant was. Was it Euro 4 again, Boyth? We could possibly buy one more. I think the repaint will work. So maybe we'll, we'll we'll take out the eco map for a last quick run. We'll see. Uh, Ralph, something, something, something like the stream probably. Uh, Ralph, uh, is like the stream. Thank you, mate. Couldn't quite see the words. Yeah, we'll go to the PC screen. We'll see what the gasket is, and then we'll make a decision of what we want. All right. And uh, thank you for sharing the, uh, the stream as well, mate. Much appreciated. Okay, and that was a nice little run. Like a bit of West Country myself. We'll turn her off. Doesn't help there's another bus over there. <laughs> or a car. Yeah, we'll drive a gasket one next. So there we go. Uh, we'll just do something short. It might even do a uh, cotrol or something, just up and down. How do you line for buses? What do you mean? Okay, what, what, what one is here? So this is the Voif E4 gasket. We'll probably take that one out. Uh, what I need to do though is go get a route quickly. 
Uh, that is not the way out. Neither is that. What the frig am I doing? Going the wrong way. I think we should be able to teleport to buddy garages. I think two's all our London buses. I could be wrong. No, four's all the London bus. No, two's the London buses. Uh, this is right hand side is Gen 3's, and the right hand side is MMC's, I think. Let's go see at the computer uh, what would we do. I'll show you the, the variants that we have. And... Ninety seven employees. How cool. So good. And everybody is working hard. A few of you aren't. But majority of you are doing runs, which is awesome. Okay, let's have a look at the buses. Depot 3. Okay, so got the uh, Ecolife 5 that we did yesterday. This is the two door 5. Then you've got the Ecolife G, which is the gasket variant. Uh, the Ecomat E4, which is what we'll probably do tomorrow. Ecomat. Does my repaint work on this one? It does. Uh, so that's good news. Uh, we do have an E5 Eco Life gasket as well there on the Veiling 2. Veiling 2, Veiling 2. Voif gasket, that's the one that we've got there already. Uh, then we've got the Voif E4. E4 gasket again. Then we're going into the V8s. The main V8 that we need to add here is the 13.1, which I'll repaint tomorrow. Uh, the B7 Eco Mat, we had uh, no. Where is the Eco Mat one? It's here. So I'll, I'll we'll do that tomorrow. We'll do the gasket one that we've already brought for now. Uh, so we're going to do the B7 Voif E4 gasket because we already did the Voif E4. So let's just do the gasket variant, and and then tomorrow we'll do a different bus completely. Who's that? Oh, Ralph. Okay, let's just see if there was anything short here. West Country again. I'm not 60 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that. So it's important that we're doing this because uh, the company gets a nice little badge. We're so close to finishing it. Uh, but nothing good there for us. We're going to do spontaneous. Something short. We might do Cotterall because we haven't done it in a long time. Just 10 minute run. we up near the top here somewhere. So these are all the maps in the company for any of you that might want to join BCS. That we, we have literally everything and anything. Yeah, let's go from the university. When's that going out? 2030. Perfect. Uh, someone's just... Uh, Joseph's just subscribed. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated. I'll put the ramp out. I will put the ramp out. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go. Hello, mate. Nice to see you here. New friend to the channel. Did you see me? Was it you that just passed me in the garage there? Steven, I've been doing loads of them. Nice. It's nice to see you back, Steven, as well. I know you took a bit of a, a break for personal reasons. Oh, how do I like the new buses? Yeah, the new buses are great, mate. Okay, so here we go. This is the new one, isn't it? Uh, yep. Yeah. I hope that's the right half because I'll be honest with you, I haven't got a clue. Is that the right half? Someone tell me. So we're going to do the uh, University 18, yep. Uh, we're going to take the same variant out, but the gasket variant. And tomorrow we'll take an eco mat and uh, we'll do something else. I'll have a look. Uh, we could do the B8 13.1 tomorrow and then we can call it a day. Uh, and then we'll wait for release for you guys. Obviously, I might do a few videos in between uh, on the map. Which map? Oh, yeah, I saw you on the map. You were coming down. That's the SP off, is it? Cheers, mate. 
Uh, hang on, someone just took my ticket. Someone's taken my ticket, guy. Cheers, mate. Uh, I hate hot files. Okay, there's something on my A-list now. Anyways, let's not worry. Let's not worry. So last one of the night. Um, nice little short one. Max has come and joined us again. He's just looking at me. Max. Hello, mate. Can you come here? He wants me to rub his belly. Come here. No. Alright. What we had today, I missed. Uh, so we did uh, we did the um, the eighty meter uh, Arctic. We uh, took that out first. We took the B seven, uh, Voith, Euro four. I can't remember the last time I even drove on this map. Isn't there going to be a, a, an update on this? Did, did I read it somewhere that someone was updating it? I uh, can't wait for the DLC. Yeah, hopefully not long. Hopefully not long. Uh, same, I can't wait for this bus to come out. Favorite body work of all the Eclipse twos. Uh, Ralph is off to do Hertfordshire. Bloody hell! Hour and a half route. No, thank you. I get so bored. The only the only route that I've never been bored on doing it that long is Ocala. Uh, but I can't do it in Hertford. Hertford. Uh, Maxie's under the company as well. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. What am I doing? Get rid of you. I need to change all these to the ticketer. Uh, okay, what are we doing? So, Saturday and Sunday, term two, 2015. Oh crap, we're due to go, nice. Uh, we'll have a look outside in a second. Uh, 
So we get a nice view. This one's definitely got more of a woo. Oh, it was the next trip, was it? Oh, bugger. You know what? I'm going to change it to that next trip anyways. Happy days. So we can have a nice little look around. So yeah, I apologize for, like I said, I just used the STI, uh, CTI piles that were there. STIs. <laughs> OMSI's a bit of an STI, isn't it, really? Uh... Ah, what am I doing? Thinking about my own pin. Wrong trip, yeah. Yeah, this definitely has a lot more of a woo. Yeah, it's just the bonded windows. The sounds are nice, aren't they? Okay, let's have a little nose in here. Let's pull on cab as well. Can't reach whatever you are. Panic alarm. It's the funniest thing when you pull up to busy bus stops and you accidentally like, hit this with your knee or something. Oh man, people really shit themselves. It's quite funny. The ones that say like, you know, the, the proper panic ones are the ones are the worst ones. The reason I've missed a tiny bit of paint there, look. That was a terrible job by myself. Even under here. Not great, is it? I have to go over these repaints before release. Righty. I can hear the release a lot better on the uh, handbrake as well. There you go. Hello, love. Telematics. So if anyone doesn't know quite what they are, uh, this is 
your gear change and high revving when you come out of the green. Uh, this is if you're just leaving it on standby like we are now, uh, too long. Obviously, if you brake too harshly or accelerate too harshly, uh, this one, I have no idea. It never does anything, I don't think. I think it just stays green. <laughs> I use these systems and I still don't friggin' know. The other thing I loved about these buses is that they were always really warm in the uh, cab area, especially like on a rainy day or something and you need to dry off. Always found these so warm. The heat was so good. Some of the buses at night, you'd be freezing your ass off. Uh, do you still see my super skip deliveries, mate? Doing some more? Yeah, I do. I see them there. They pop up on my Facebook. These would look like ours if these were yellow. I repaint these yellow and put it in. Well, they might already be there. I haven't even looked. We'll get a nice turn wheel shot, don't we? Okay, let's fast forward our time then. No, not you. Oh, uh, maybe I can't. It was my mic. Sorry, I was coughing. I forgot to put it back on. <laughs> As always. Okay, let's get out of here then. I, all I said was I always leave this one uh, like a minute late. No, no, it's just my mic. Sorry, guys. I always do it because I, when I cough and stuff, I turn it off and I always forget to turn it back on. Even though it's bright red in front of me, I still forget that I have to turn it back on. Apologies, apologies. Dog streaming. I mean, late is how I tend to have to do West Country. So, yeah, the West Country can be the same. It can be, it's very generous on time. Main thing is just, just taking your time. Routes like this, I just take loads of screenshots. <laughs> to waste time if it's not busy. Generally. The 
bit short between that gear then. Oh, I'm gonna get flashed on I? Oh, that's the other way. Most likely driving is way too fast and the B7 sounds real nice like the Centros we have in the Scarborough until Hull stole them. <laughs> uh, Imran, catch you later mate. Have a good one. Like I said this is my final route of tonight anyways. Really hope it's this week you get these. Yeah, like I hope for you guys as well. Sometimes I feel bad like in the company everyone can see them but only I can drive them. and. Make me feel a bit bad sometimes. Uh, Zen, you have a question. Go, go for it. What's your question? I don't know if I'll be able to answer it, but. Ah, a lot more rally. This is like the ones that work. And the suspensions are like crap. You, you feel them through the seats going over the smallest of bumps. Yeah, the yoinked uh, park and rides. <laughs> EYMS has been terrible since Go Ahead took over. No surprise. Go Ahead took over a route here. They gave Go Ahead a contract to one of our Dublin bus routes here, thinking that they were going to take over. Basically, they pay their drivers less. I'm not sure if they're in the unions or not either. And like, they weren't like pigs compared to Bus Aaron and uh, Dublin Bus. And uh, it didn't take off. They can't get drivers. Turnover is ridiculous. Half the buses never go on the routes. Go ahead. Ah. Uh, oh no, it's Go Bus. Was it Go Bus or Go Ahead? Oh god, now I can't remember now. Could be Go Bus. Uh, does it make you apply the handbrake to open the doors? Yeah. And I just double checked there just in case. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that there's a hard start in Monbanzu in the start from scratch in the junkyard and build up to what you want it to be? Yeah, I've seen something that there, there was something like that now, yeah. I, I will have a look at it. I will go back to Monbanzu and stuff. I, I got a bit burnt out and uh, my summer car, like I told everybody, my My Summer Car series, unfortunately, the file corrupted and I've had to do it all over again off camera to get me back to the exactly the same point but like again it just burnt me out a little bit I will go back to them go northwest <laughs> uh, backseat pull off? yeah we can oh, there's people at that bus stop I can't see the lights I think it's green Definitely loving the sounds on this one compared to the last one, anyways. I don't know how anyone does that. Even in car racing games, like, I don't know. My brother used to do this. He used to race like this. He'd be fair at it because he could see more. I, I don't know how anyone can do that. I hate that so much.
So I'm trying to waste time on the way down, if you haven't noticed. Uh, I do like the aircon. Definitely gonna spec my liveries with them. Go ahead, advertise them better than ever. It's more of a joke than the reliability of the 128 in Scarborough. You wait about 30 minutes for nothing to show up. <laughs> The eco mat sounds brilliant. Well, we're going to check the eco mat out tomorrow. Uh, don't know what I'm indicating. So yeah, we'll do the eco mat tomorrow and the B8 long version. Unless, by some magical means, you never know, this could be released tomorrow and whatever. Obviously, uh, you guys won't want me streaming it. You'll be busy with it. But yeah, that'll be the plan for tomorrow. We'll um, we'll take it the eco mat version out and we'll take the longer B8 out. Uh, don't feel bad, buddy. We love the fact that you get them first because that's a taste lot to expect. Yeah, I, I still kind of feel bad though. Like everybody's waiting and excited and yeah, kind of like stagecoach, old greener, smarter travel. We have one now. What's ours? Ah, uh, what's ah? Uh, freaking out on the side of the bus. We have some city slogans as well now. No one ever uses them or talks about it. Much for a ZF. This is the Voith. The bus that we're driving now is the B7 uh, Euro Euro 4 Voith gasket. <laughs> That's it. I'm not surprised. Just got a big tail on it. Our new uh, Sundangu coaches aren't triaxle, and behind the, the rear axle, there's something like nearly three and a half meters, four meters after the axle, nearly, or something stupid. Why does the cabin look like a double decker? No, the cabin is really good. It's exactly what ours look like. In the ones at work, I sit very low. That's that's the only... Because, like, these things see in the mirrors and stuff. But our mirrors are out here, actually. They changed them, I believe. It's not... I don't know. I don't know if it was a spec or not. They were... This one's the same, but they moved this one out here. Because drivers can't see out of these ones with all the different sh stuff in the way. Problem with triaxles, you got to remember for a company, that's an extra axle, that's extra brakes, that's an extra tires, you know, and you only get an extra three to four seats in most triaxles. So... Our triaxle's really worth it, you know, when you think of the long, especially if you're a smaller company, say. Like big companies, yeah, it doesn't really matter, but say if you're a small company and you, you know, you, you, you've got your own runs or whatever you're doing, is it really worth it for the three extra seats? Are you going to fill them ten times a day extra, you know? I think that's how a lot of them look at it. Anthony McCracken's like, uh, Mike Ray's off to bed. Good night, mate. Thanks for joining in. It looks similar to the double decker on Yorkshire counties. What double decker on Yorkshire counties? I'm more confused. The short mirror arm ones. Yeah, I think a lot of drivers complain, so they they moved it out and put a long arm. 
think people actually were supposed to get off of that last stop. Sorry. Oh, we better start a ticket inspection as well before I forget. All Vo Volvos have roughly the same dash layout. They've never really changed this bit too much. Obviously, the newer ones have things a little bit different, but you'll notice a lot with, uh, with Volvo. I'm surprised Stagecoach is still going. I'm very surprised that National Express wanted to buy them out, considering National Express were in trouble only, you know, five, six years ago. Yeah, the street deck. This doesn't look anything like the street deck. The Falcon has the street deck uh, dash in it. Oh, it runs back. We're nearly at the end now. You're just in time to say goodbye again. Yeah, there's nothing like it. But, uh... The Falcon does have the street deck. Dash. The Falcon was quite nice, actually. I like the Falcon. We'll probably buy a, a one-door and a two-door variant of that as well. What's happening with that deal? What? Which deal? Oh, man, I've already forgotten what we were talking about. Volvo really do keep familiarity in play. Yeah, in, they've never really changed the inside in like a long time, really. I, I can't even remember. And that's okay. Okay, we did well. We'll, we'll get the wheel turning out. Look at that. That's going to make a lovely screenshot now for Discord. I wish that kind of engine like running down just lasted a little bit longer or like the air hissing there you go so that was one of the gasket variants whoa <laughs> I think I went into the tree Oh, and the ramp. Sorry, someone wanted to see the ramp. Ah, oh, friggin' hell. It's like the worst place in these buildings. Oh, is this one of the electric ramps? It doesn't have a ramp, this bus. It just has a kneeler. No ramp. Too old. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, we'll get gas. We already have one. This one's in the company now. Right now, th this is already in the company. There's a button in the cab. I don't see no button in the cab. All of ours have never had electric... Uh, things I think you're playing with me uh, the engine cover doesn't open I don't believe I don't think any of the master switch stuff opens up I mean, yeah, it does definitely look like there is a uh, a ramp there, yeah. Clearly, I'm just being stupid, right? That's the kneel. That is your traction control. And it, it doesn't even click. 
that that that's just to uh for when you're stuck in the mud or stuff I'm in gear. This one is not even clickable, no. That's your battery master switch. That's your ferry lift. That's that's just uh, the go up and down. That's your thingy brake. We pull these on each other when we take over because we forget. And if you do the handbrake, I can't remember what it's actually called properly. Can't think of names right now. Uh, and then up here, these are just your lights, aircon, reset. That's definitely not your ramp. Generally, if there's a ramp button, it's usually here somewhere. The one with the two arrows. This is your ferry lift. So that kneels your bus uh, down. All, all axles will go down together with the airbags, or it'll go really high. You have to use this in London to get out some of the coach stations. You'll see it'll, it'll rise up. Makes the bus very bouncy, though. I mean, like I said, every B7 I've ever driven, the ramp uh, was always one of those um, cord ones. There's nothing up here. This one? It oh. oh. Hang on, it might be that. That was me thinking that that was going to be a friggin' hazard. Okay. There you go. That was me thinking it was the freaking hazards. Apologies. Like I said, we never had electric ramps. Yeah. My apologies. I said never, never seen one of these with an electric ramp. <laughs> Not myself, anyways. Because this is actually where your hazards live as well. It can do. It's down here. So we had a button for our hazards here. Right, why don't you come back in now? There you go. All done, guys. Right. I'm going to head off now, anyways. Uh, it's a cool ramp. It's a cool ramp. We should probably finish and see if how little money we made. Don't make very much on this little run. There was a bit of a drop down from the ramp as well for the wheels. I don't think it'd be that easy. Oh. Right. Probably going to crash us out of here now. Awesome. Okay, guys. So, look. Uh, thank you all for tuning in again this evening. Uh, we had a look at a few of the uh, extra variants there. We're going to have a look at a couple more tomorrow. And... Um, We'll see what you guys think of them ones. Like I said, tomorrow we'll have a look at an eco map. Uh, we'll definitely look at the longer B8 stuff. Uh, but yeah, so good, good so far. Pretty happy. Sounds are pretty good. I'm not not sure about the the voice sounds on the first one we did. If they're realistic, obviously there must be to some extent. But 
I didn't like the whining. I'll be honest with you. I definitely preferred that one. That variant was definitely a lot better. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a look at a few more tomorrow. Thank you to all the mods members. Thank you to everyone that came and took part. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to read every single name out because uh, it'll take me forever. But look, guys, thank you all very much, and I will see you later. Bye for now.